All right, this uh, this video is finding all complex solutions to an equation, uh, and we'll have to use the nth root theorem. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you now. Each each example is going to have its own video. I'll have three examples. Uh, that will be the problem I work for example one. That will be the problem for example two, and that will be the problem for example three. So you can watch whichever video you need to watch. Okay. All right. So let's come back over here to the nth root theorem. It says if n is any positive integer, r is a positive real number, and theta is in degrees, then the non-zero complex number r times cosine theta plus i sine theta has exactly n distinct nth roots given by the nth root of r times the cosine of theta plus 360 times k over n plus i sine theta plus 360 times k over n where k goes from 0 to n minus 1. Okay, And I'll explain I'll explain this more as we're as we're going into the uh, as we're working the examples I'll explain to you more of what uh, K is and all that stuff uh, now now in this it's assumed see this right here is a complex number in trigonometric form and what we'll have to do for these is we'll have to convert the complex number from rectangular form to trigonometric form and it's assumed you know how to do that okay I'll explain a little as we go uh, but if you need to check out some videos on that, I do have some videos on how to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here we've got example two on finding all the complex solutions to an equation. we got x cubed minus i equals zero. So, first thing we want to do is we want to solve this for x cubed. So if I move the i over, I get x cubed equals i. Alright, and remember we have to uh, convert this i here to trigonometric form. Alright, now I went ahead and pulled the formula over here. Uh, so we need to find r and we need to find theta. Okay. Well, we know that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And this is our complex number. And remember, this is in the form x plus y times i. And in this case, you can see that the x is 0 because we can write this as 0 plus i and x is 0 and y would be 1 so r is going to be the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared which is that's the square root of 1 which is 1 okay alright <clears throat> then we need to find theta. Okay. Now remember, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write r is equal to 1, and then I'll erase this. All right. And then we have the fact that tangent theta equals y over x. And in this case, y is 0. I'm sorry x is 0, because remember this is 0 plus i, so x is 0, y is 1, and of course this is undefined, and, and it's nice when you have just i and the x is 0, what, what you can do here, you can just find it real quick. Now remember this is the real axis, this is the imaginary axis, so if we plot this, well x is 0, and y, which is the imaginary axis, is 1. So that plots here. And so we can see that this angle here is 90 degrees. So that gives us theta 
is equal to 90 degrees. <clears throat> and then this is going to be for k equals 0, 1, 2. Okay, so how do I know that? Well, k goes from 0 to n minus 1. And in this case, n is 3. So if we plug the 3 in there, 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's 0, 1, 2. All right. All right, so now we just we find all the solutions. So we know r is 1. So we've got to find the solutions when k is 0, 1, and 2. So the first one, k equals 0. All right. So r is 1 and n is 3. So we know that the cube root of 1 is 1. Okay, so that's just a 1 in front, so we don't need to put anything. And so now we have cosine of theta, which is 90 degrees, plus, and then we have 360 times 0, see in this case k is 0, over n, which we see here n, n is equal to 3, all right, plus i times sine of theta plus 360 times 0 over 3. All right. So we get cosine, and so this is going to be 90 plus 0 is 90, and 90 divided by 3 is 30 plus i sine 30. All right. So <clears throat> that's that's a solution for when k is 0. All right. Now, I'm going to find for when k is 1 and when k is 2 and you can see our solutions here are in trigonometric form, but I'm going to also convert these into rectangular form cuz uh, a lot of the books ask ask it ask the answer to be in rectangular form. All right. <clears throat> so this right here is a solution, and if you remember, there is a shorthanded way you can write this. You can write it like this. You can write it like this, and it means the same thing as this. So I can actually write this in this compact form here, and that's what I'm going to do, just you know, to save some space. So I get. Okay, so this is the same thing as cosine plus i sine. Okay, just written in shorthanded form. All right, so I've got theta is 90 plus 360 times 1 over, because in this case k is 1, over n, which is 3. All right, and this... This is going to be, so we do 90 plus 360 times 1 over 3, and that ends up being 150. And then we have to do it for k equals 2. So I'm going to keep doing it in this compact form. So that's 90 plus 360 times 1. I'm sorry not times 1, times 2 over 3. Alright, so let's see what we get. Uh, 90 plus, that's going to be 90 plus 720 divided by 3, and that is going to give us 270. Okay. Alright, so here are my solutions in trigonometric form. So like I said, most books want you to uh, 
write these in rectangular form and I have a separate video on writing in rectangular form and then I also have a separate video on this converting from the rectangular form to trigonometric form you can check those out I go into more detail about it alright so first let's write this in rectangular form so let's just write it out that's cosine 30 plus I sine 30 Okay. I just expanded this back out. I think it's easier for you to see. All right, so the cosine of 30, well, that's square root of 3 over 2. And then I sine 30. Well, the sine of 30 is 1 half and then times I. All right, so there's this one. And then we have a cosine of 150 plus I sine 150. So to calculate these we will need to use uh, reference angles. There's 150 degrees. Here's our reference angle and yes you can use the unit circle but I would recommend knowing this using reference angles. Alright so this reference angle here well the reference angle is 180 minus 150 which is 30 degrees. Okay, so our reference angle is 30 degrees. So if we look at this, the cosine of 30 degrees, well, that's square root of 3 over 2. Okay, but we're in the second quadrant, so it's negative. And then plus, and then the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, but we're in the second quadrant but sine is positive in the second quadrant, so that stays positive, and then that's times I. All right, and then we have cosine 270 plus I sine 270. All right, so as far as this one goes, you, you can actually, if you don't know them right off the top of your head, well, remember, it when you graph these things, if you graph just the normal cosine and sine function, okay, that's one, that's negative one. Remember, cosine goes like this, and then sine looks like this, okay? So right now we need cosine of 270. Here's 270. The red graph is the cosine, and you can see it's zero. Okay, so that's going to be zero. All right, plus, and then we need the sine of 270. Well, here's sine, and at 270, which is also 3 pi over 2, that's negative 1, so that's negative 1i. Okay, so this is equal to what? Negative i. And so here are your solutions in rectangular form. All right, so hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.